it's Kennedy Simone here and I am back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a rising sophomore at Spelman College, the number one HBCU. And my major is economics with a minor in management and organization. But yeah, that's a little bit about me. Definitely, if you're new, subscribe to my channel to be a part of Ken's crew because we're the best crew. Congrats to all my high school graduates and people who got into college. Y'all the real ones. You know, shout out to my Spelman. 22 girls definitely comment down below what college you're attending and what you're most excited for I'm really excited to know and I want to chat with y'all and stuff in the comment sections but yeah this is a collab video with some other Spelman youtubers I'm really excited for this collab because we cover a wide range of topics so definitely check my description box so you can see our videos but yeah without further ado let's get into this tea honey so I have 10 topics for my video and we're gonna just go ahead and get right into it so the first one is broke as a joke so being broke in college is really real it's a struggle out here you know unless you're rich and stuff gosh money but not all of us have bank like that like real bank where we just don't have to worry like i'm gonna tell y'all a little quick story so basically like the last couple weeks of school so like pre-finals week and finals week and stuff everybody was in the group chat in my dorm talking about anybody got some snacks anybody got some ramen anybody got some food some water like we real deal were out there struggling like i literally only had like i think two packages of ramen which weren't the good kind they were the top ramen not the mushroom i don't know how to say it but yeah you know what i'm talking about and i didn't have any water left because you know i get my groceries delivered to me my mom you know it's on this app this public app um yeah but basically i get my groceries delivered to me so i usually don't go out and i expected my water to last the end of the semester and it didn't but luckily you know I always go to the cab for lower mainly and fill it up with water and ice and stuff. But, you know, it just really is a struggle out here. Don't think you're going to come into this college balling. And some people do. And then you get halfway through the semester and you don't know what to do because you're broke. So, just spend your money wisely, I would say. Um, definitely don't come to college and just splurge on everything you see. Like, it's going to be there, trust me. Like... It's going to be another market. It's going to be another hump. So you'll be fine. Just don't, just don't spend all your money. Yeah. So the second topic is peer pressure. So peer pressure can really steer you off track, especially when you're first coming into college and you're around a whole new set of people and you're experiencing a different world. But yeah, I feel like the worst thing you can do is try to like impress people that honestly really don't care about you or know you enough to care about you so I would just say you know come in with a solid understanding of who you are and secure in yourself because there's gonna be people drinking there's gonna be people smoking there's gonna be people you know sexually active and that may not be what you want to do and that's okay so just definitely come in and try to see what group of people that you kind of are on the same page with and I feel like you probably know this already but yeah just find some people that'll keep you grounded and on the right track but yeah just knowing yourself and being secure in yourself will definitely help you as you matriculate through college and that'll just be a great foundation when you're coming into college when you're tempted with lots of temptation so the third one the Spelman Knight standard so going off of the last topic of knowing who you are and being secure in yourself you really have to be happy with yourself um, so many Spelmanites, you know, try to live up to this standard or this perfect Spelmanite woman, the ideal Spelmanite, you know, and they feel like they have to uphold this standard where their hair is always late, their outfit is always on point, they have that 4.0, they have their internship at the top Ivy League college that they want to go to, the president of multiple clubs, even founded a club, and still have time for social life and taking care of yourself, you know, self-care. Like, come on, sis. We aren't all the same. Although Spelman is majority african-american young women we are all very very different in our upbringings and just everything about us so honestly just don't feel like you have to fit in just be you honestly because at the end of the day you're going back to your room and you have to look at yourself in the mirror so you know just kind of be aware of that and just know there are going to be people that are you know better at you in this subject like you're not going to be that pretty black girl that's smart you know 
we're all pretty black and smart so <laughs> it's kind of like you have to find something else that makes you stand out and makes you you so number four major change so basically you might have to switch your major or you might want to switch your major um a lot of people come into college you know oh i'm gonna be this i'm gonna be that i'm a major in this i'm a minor in that but it's like when you get here you're finding yourself and discovering yourself you might find your purpose that isn't what you intended on being when you came to college so personally i came into college wanting to be a pediatrician or a physician's assistant to a pediatrician um basically you know the medical field and so i majored in health science and you know that first semester i took chemistry and the chemistry lab and i quickly learned that my passion is not in medicine it's not in science so i really had to find myself and discover myself and you know find my purpose because i honestly am you know business savvy i feel like i like marketing i like math and social media all that kind of stuff hence why i'm on youtube <laughs> but um yeah i just like entertaining people and all that kind of stuff so the best route for me i felt like was business um obviously spellman doesn't have a business major but I decided to major in economics with a minor in management and organization. So honestly, it's not terrible. If you can't avoid it, please do. Or if you can change it early, you know, do that as well. Just so you don't waste your time and money and take a class that you don't need. But honestly, I found out early on, like halfway through the first semester that I wanted to change my major. Um, so I didn't waste too much time and money and effort or whatever but yeah I just want to say you know it's okay if you want to switch your major like when you get here when you join different clubs or meet different people that you know open your eyes to different possibilities you know it's fine if you want to you know switch your career path just you know obviously think logically and think wisely you know it's best if you know talk to different people about it you know maybe an advisor maybe your parents maybe your friends or something just so you can kind of like talk it out with somebody and they can really kind of guide you in the right direction. So number five, your GPA matters. So when you're coming to college, you're trying to meet everybody, get settled in, socialize, make new friends, have this bum friend group, have fun, go to parties. But you came to college for one reason and that's to get an education. I don't want to sound like a mom or you know anything like that but it's very very true people come to college and they completely like go buck wild and they just lose themselves if you have a full tuition scholarship that's great but spelling is not cheap it's expensive and even if you do have you know a full scholarship or you have scholarships or something it's still somebody's money that is contributing to your education for you to just blow off no you definitely have to keep up with your studies. I definitely find that it helps if you have a good balance of school, social life, and you know, other stuff, and having a schedule that works for you because people really honestly don't come back. And it's a real thing, like, although it is for, you know, various reasons, but GPA, yeah, because people will lose their scholarships and lose funding from different, you know, various avenues and they can't afford to come back. So honestly, I feel like, you know, just get that good GPA starting off. It's better to start off strong so you don't have to work the rest of your college career to bring it back up. You can kind of just maintain it. But yeah, you want to have a good GPA so you can get that internship, sis. Get into this or that program. So yeah, definitely your GPA matters. <laughs> Number six, dorm life. So I was actually the hall queen of my freshman dorm, HH, you know, Phi Beta, freshman year, and also Miss RHA, which is Spelman's Residence Hall Association, um, you know, over all the Spelman dorms and stuff. Um, so I definitely feel like I have a pretty good grasp of the dorm life at Spelman. So yeah, if you didn't know, Spelman has four freshman dorms, and three of them don't have AC. And you can only stay in the one with no AC if you're in, like, honors, bonners or like you know a special program but um the other dorms lit so don't even worry about that but just bring a fan or two each each so me and my roommate we had three fans in total um we really could have had four but but yeah it's really not that bad people always say oh no ac it's like no it's really only bad like the first week or two or you know like the first couple weeks honestly you get used to it and you find your little system you know the 
the circulation system of the fans, you know. You'll learn it when you get here. But yeah, living with all girls can be a good and a bad thing. For the bad, girls are just nasty. Like, the bathrooms are an example of that. And like, I don't know, people just take your clothes out of the washer if you didn't, you know, take it out on time. As they should, because you should set a timer on your alarm. But, you know, I've never taken them, just thrown them out and stuff. But, you know, if they don't even know, and it's been sitting there for like, 10 minutes, girl, your stuff is going on top of the washer. I'm sorry. But honestly, a lot of that bad stuff stems from like the way people were raised. So it's kind of like, you know, everybody wasn't raised like you. So people don't have this standard of living like you may have, which is kind of hard at first, but you kind of get used to it. It's just annoying, you know, sometimes because you'll see hair in the shower and it's like we have a whole kimono room where you can wash your hair in there like i know i know but for the most part it's a positive thing um living with all girls just because you get a chance to befriend so many amazing girls and make many 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 lasting memories and relationships so i feel like it's more pros than cons so yeah it's just kind of like you know annoying at first but you get used to it and it turns out to be a positive thing. Number seven, friends will fade. So coming to college, you're going to befriend a lot of people and you're going to meet so many, you know, amazing girls and you're going to have this big old friend group most likely and you're going to go to the parties together, you're going to have little study groups and stuff, but by the end of the year, you most likely won't be friends with every single person that you started off with. Not saying that you'll like have beef with anybody or won't be on speaking terms with everybody that you started off with. That's not the case, but it just probably will be on an acquaintance level than a friend level, you know? Things happen, life happens, and friends will come and go. So honestly, I would say just don't be worried about you know losing friends because it's a part of life I feel like we've all been through it at some point in time and was that a bird? but we've all been through it at some point in time everyone has a season in your life whether it be for a month or a lifetime so it's just kind of like you have to figure that out and weed through the people that you know aren't meant for you because some people will be there when it's all nice and dandy and everything is looking up but, you know, when you're, you know, down or in need of help, you may not have that person. Honestly, just enjoy it while you can. Like, just experience it. It'll happen. But it's just kind of like, just, just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. So, number eight, roommates. So, you may have a random roommate. You ha may have a roommate you met on Twitter or in the group chats. You may have a roommate from back home or even a roommate that's your friend currently. But all in all, roommates play a huge role in your college experience. So, personally, I met my roommate at Spellbound, which is Spellman's Accepted Students Weekend. And we met there because our spell moms were like friends or like dorm mates or something. And so, yeah, we got along really well. I got to the airport and Lex was like, will you be my roommate? And I was like, yes, girl, because I was sure about to have a random roommate. And you know how that go. I don't, you know, you get nervous when that kind of stuff happens. But yeah, we um, texted over the summer, not all the time, but we texted pretty often. And when we got to school, you know, it was good and stuff. We weren't like the best of friends or anything at the beginning because she had her friend groups because she went to, um, a Spelman summer program so she had her friend group from there and I had my friend group that I met at NSO and stuff so we had two separate friend groups so we only saw each other pretty much when we were in the same room together it wasn't awkward or anything it was just kind of like oh you have your friends I have mine which is fine and that's completely okay during homecoming time I was getting closer with Lex more than anything and so me and Lex were like together all the time like She's my best friend now, so like, it can turn to that, but it can also stay at the level where it's kind of like, y'all are cool, but it's just like, you have two different friend groups, and that's fine. But you know, I just lucked out because I love my roommate, like we're rooming together next year and everything. We're even planning our apartment for junior year. But yeah, the thing I like most about Spelman and probably many other colleges is that they have roommate agreements. So when you first get here, your RA will have like a meeting with you and your roommate you know in the dorm and stuff and they'll be like they'll go through like this whole checklist of do you want her to use your products do you want her to go on your side of the room do you want her to 
ask first. It, I think it was like yes, no, or ask first. For the most part, we said ask first because, I don't know, if you ask, like, you can just say yes or no at the moment. So, yeah, you have that roommate agreement. So, whenever there's conflict, the RA is going to just, mm. so on the roommate agreement, you said, so it's kind of like a receipt. So, um, yeah, I think that helps just because it's kind of like you establish everything right at the beginning it's not awkward because it's like the RA is the mediator so it's you know no awkwardness and stuff but yeah I definitely like that aspect about it and I feel like that'll just help you with any roommate situation that you have but yeah I really hope you and your roommate are compatible but if not there's always roommate swaps so, <laughs> so number nine parties so basically there's like three types of parties promoted parties house parties and kickbacks so basically the promoted parties are like um, like at this big venue they have bouncers and you have to buy tickets in advance or like you have to stand in these long lines and usually they're an L. like 8 out of 10 of the times they're like not even that lit not worth the hype not worth your money but at the beginning of freshman year I definitely would recommend you like go into a few um, I know you probably will because I went to one um, party at the beginning of the year I think it was pajama jam or something and it was lit so I mean it's kind of like a hit or miss usually the parties at the very very beginning of the semester like NSO week are usually like the ones to go to if you were to go to promoted parties but I think I went to like two promoted parties and yeah it wasn't all that basically so house parties they're usually all right it's usually hot so you're not gonna be you know beat when you leave out of there um it's usually sweaty it's usually packed and man but it's all right it's usually lit most of the time um when you get to spellman or morehouse or clark in the auc you'll learn about Greymont very quickly um i won't spoil that for you i'll let you learn about that for yourself but Greymont parties yeah you'll know so kickbacks those are more my type of style just because it's not too much like it's chill but it's still like a good time and you usually don't have to pay and paying for parties i never was with it like i paid for a few parties but for the most part i was like no mm, that party ten dollar mm, no five no three i'd be like a little iffy but you know i might pay for the three dollar party but yeah for the most part no i don't pay for parties no because usually it's not worth your money you can spend your money on something else because being broke is no joke when you're buying tickets for parties and stuff it's not worth it but you know go with a friend don't do drugs drink responsibly if you're over the age of 21 and you know all that great stuff <laughs> and number 10 is for all my Spelman nights out there you know Spelman 22 23 24 25 26 ADW so basically it's a black history class in depth where we learn about our culture in ways that we've never learned it before like we learn about people places events that we didn't learn before and we really become woke in that class like we get a better understanding of the african diaspora as a whole and more so about and where we come from before slavery because i don't know about everybody else but for the most part i learned about slavery on like forward we never learned about stuff before that like we were kings and queens come on now we still are so you know but yeah, there's a lot of reading and writing involved, so be prepared. And yeah, just just know it's not going to be an easy class, but it's definitely enlightening. And it's very positive. So yeah, you're going to have to take it for two semesters, your first year of Spelman. And you know, if you're Spelman 21, get at your girl, because I got all the books. I bought all the books with some notes in there, so it might help you out, you know, you know comment down below dm me something if you want to buy the book so yeah but yeah that pretty much wraps up this video i'm super excited about giving you guys more college tips i have a lot of video ideas planned definitely leave a comment down below some video suggestions that you want whether it's about college where it's about you know me personally or anything just 
comment down below some video suggestions that you want to see in the very very near future because I'm filming almost every other day at this point so yeah I really appreciate it and I really hope you gained a lot out of this video I hope it was informative and it helps you your freshman year of college that's that's lit subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on my social media and you know if you want to you know you can listen to your girl's song on iTunes it'll be in the iCards right here um <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it that's all I have to say for this video definitely stay tuned for more and I will see you guys in my next one bye